Impact Lounge is the number one YouTube channel for fans of Impact Wrestling. Make, make a, make a, uh, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. That is just a fact of life. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and let's keep it real. It's a world of professional wrestling. It's mostly gentlemen, but this is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. Thanks for swinging by. If it's your first time here at the channel and you're looking for a place to call home as an Impact Wrestling fan, well, the Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling. And if you want to ensure that you receive all of my uploads, smash the little bell next to the subscribe button. If you've already hit it before, don't hit it again. I'm just learning today that it's been a problem in the uh, YouTube world is that people have been hitting it every single time someone says that. So just hit it once to ensure that you get all of the future uploads here at the Impact Lounge. So to talk about something real briefly, and this is really off the cuff. Usually I try to be fairly prepared when I get on the channel here to talk to you guys about stuff, but I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Impact tweets out that August 31st was their best day ever on YouTube for minutes minutes watched. So that doesn't mean necessarily page hits or you know video hits, but minutes watched. So people are spending a longer duration on the videos and they're spending more time on the channel. So they might be watch one clip and then watch a you know a, a similar clip or something else later. So you know they're not going anywhere. So here is the interesting thing about this, uh, and that was a uh, Friday, by the way. So the day after Impact, and that usually seems to be their real high traffic day. And it's kind of weird because that day is usually really good for me too. And that that particular day was actually really bad for me. So I guess people were, were actually tuning into the Impact channel uh, more than anything else. So. I do have access to some numbers, and they're they're very very rough. Um, they, they're they're I mean they're accurate, but they're not spot on. But I did look it up, and on that day they had one million six hundred sixty six thousand five hundred seventy five views, and uh, I I compared that to about the rest of the month, you know, prior to that, and then uh, the few days of this month here in September, and uh, that sure as hell is their highest day by a good. Um, 500,000 for the most part. Uh, there was one day that was only about 10,000 less than that. Um, that was April, uh, not April, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. August 24th. And on this particular day, they had about almost 3,700 subscribers. So they actually do on average, um, man, if I had to throw a number at you from what I'm looking at, 32,000, not the 32,000. I'm tripping today. I told you folks I'm going off the cuff. 3,200. They, they average about 3,200 subscribers a day. So Here's the real interesting thing, and we were talking about this on the Impact Fan Nation. Check us out on uh, Facebook. Um, so we were, we we're having this discussion. If their deal is not renewed with Pop TV, and uh, you know, I don't want to start rumors because I don't know for sure, but what I was told is that this particular Pop TV contact uh, contract actually does have some money involved, as opposed to the last one. And then, um, but I was also kind of told that the company is prepared for pop tv not renewing them and they're prepared to broadcast on youtube at least in the short you know in the short term if necessary so what would you guys think this is kind of this discussion question stuff is this something you think um impact should consider is streaming their show on youtube so the segment with the ogs and uh conan uh i don't know if it was this newer one or, or one from uh when they hit the kid, I, I just don't remember, but I know one of those segments did 300,000. And in all honesty, if we're talking social media numbers, their engagement numbers compared to the subscri their subscribers is actually kind of low. But from the information I've looked up with them, um, you know, the little bit that I have access to, and this is also um, not super accurate, it's actually a little bit less accurate than the views that I told you. But from the information I, I was looking at today, they make about 100000 120000 a month on YouTube um, and about a million a year overall. So they do have uh, money coming in. Um, and based off the number of subscribers they have, it should actually be a lot more than that. But I think the problem is that the, the YouTube just has so many troll subscribers who don't... Um, you know, the way it kind of works is like a certain percentage of your subscribers gets the notification and it's a small percentage depending on how those subscribers engage with the video tells you know uh tells youtube okay you know this percentage watch the video after getting a notification and now they're going to send out another round of notifications so that's why 
you know, with, with some of my videos, like we're going to talk about the impact review, for instance, that's a longer file. So a lot of people don't listen to that right away. So because it's a smaller percentage of people clicking, it, it ultimately does, it gets out to a lot less subscribers than me talking to you right now, for instance. So the problem is impact has a lot of you know, trolls or um, not so much trolls because trolls engage, but just people who are disconnected from the product, but they're still subscribed to it from, you know, several years ago or whatever. That's killing them on um, Facebook a lot too. But uh, that is, it is hurting them on YouTube and that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, they can't go and make people unsubscribe. You know, they can't, they can't unsubscribe people themselves. So here's what I want to discuss with you guys. What would you think if, if uh, the company had to broadcast a show on YouTube? Now, of course, the naysayers, the haters, they're going to say, oh, well, you know, uh, they lost another contract, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm willing to bet. I mean, I, I, from what numbers I'm looking at, and it's not crazy. It's not, it's not a exact science. They definitely make more than what Pop TV pays them. Now, as a wrestling product to be taken seriously right now, you know, you probably do have to have some kind of television deal. And especially because they reach, you know, 120 countries and everything. So if they decide to go the YouTube route, you know, it could either be a huge bomb or it could be the next, uh, the next wave, you know, like think of, have you, did you watch like the karate kid, the new, um, iteration of that, you know, that was a YouTube red series. So what if impact becomes, uh, you know, something on a paid subscription, uh, a paid service with YouTube, or maybe they just upload the shows as normal, uh, remains to be seen if it's going to, you know, reach more people or or less, we don't really know. Uh, but I think the potential is there to beat, you know, 230,000 that they've been doing recently. So, um, so good news though. Uh, the, the social media is good. The numbers are up, it's booming. And w which probably says that, you know, there are people really enjoying the product and what they're doing right now, but you know, they're still not making it a priority to watch pop pop TV as it streams. I mean, as it airs live and, you know, we can't always panic. I, I think we like to make excuses. Oh, well, this was on, this is on. And I get that. But at the same time, you know, we really don't want to panic because me, myself, I mean, I cover the damn company and I've seen the show as it airs once in the last like six or seven weeks. So, you know, the episode that happened last night, I still have not seen. So, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. Sometimes people just cannot watch it on the West coast. You know, Rove was telling me he rarely can watch it as it streams because it's, it's just like, I think he says he's at work or just getting home or it's, it's cutting it kind of close. Cause remember they used to have the replays, uh, which was very beneficial to West coast time. So the, um, the numbers were always up. Then they got rid of the replay and that kind of cut into what they could do. So of course not panic because, uh, people consume content differently these days. But what do you think? If, if uh, Impact said, we are going to broadcast on YouTube from now on. Um, th I have to believe that if they did that, you know, would they still c maintain the same television deals overseas? I would have to believe they would. But the number one thing they're not going to jeopardize is the Sony 6 contract in India. That pays them $7 million a year. You know, they only make a million dollars a year off uh, the UK, which is pretty much what they make on YouTube. But India is the big player in this that's the big cheese like they pay him seven million dollars a year on that contract you know so would it would it affect that i don't think so but you know you, you definitely want to have some kind of television presence but they may have to go this route and maybe they're they're uh, more profitable for it if they do that it, it would be something new like when the the e put out their network people were like what the hell are they doing you know because they they got in on something early and people off the bat are like what what the hell are you thinking um and then it turns out being the next wave, the, the revolution. So, you know, maybe this is the first wrestling company. I shouldn't say the first, you know, Rocky Mountain Pro did it and everything. But, you know, as far as more of a major company to implement that strategy. So I know what kind of babbling, like I said, this is off the cuff. I uh, wasn't prepared before I hit the record button. But let me know your thoughts um, on the success of Impact's YouTube channel compared to, you know, the numbers being down on television. You know, um, maybe if the numbers were up on television... The numbers would be down on YouTube. So I don't know, but it seems like Friday is the day, the day after Impact airs. So people definitely are checking out the clips and all that stuff. So um, thanks for listening. I talked a little longer than normal. First timers, again, please hit the subscribe button. I am your boy BQ and I'm out. Peace. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.